Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mark and today we're on day 13 of our draw something from a jar. So here we are. Hopefully it's not the blank one because it's Sunday and I don't think we can do much today. Gotta go church. So here we have an antelope. An antelope. An antelope. So let's find some quick references and then we can begin. But before we do, if you're new to the channel, kindly like the video. Wait, no. If you're new to the channel, kindly subscribe and uh, yeah, like the video. If, okay, final take. If you're new to the channel, kindly subscribe and that will be a great help to get this channel to more people. And uh, yeah, like the video, even if you don't yet know if you like the video, like the video. And then if you don't like the video at the end, you can remove your like simply or just leave it there because, you know, it's free. Happy Sunday. Today's question would be, what kind of antelope do we draw? Because I just searched antelope and there are very many species, including deer. So I just refine my search to look for an impala. Baby, let your hair down. Let me run my fingers through. It can be ourselves now. Go ahead, be foolish. So here we have brown, it's a brown deer. Gosh, why is it a deer? I want an antelope. I don't know. I think it's an antelope. So here we have it. This is a reference we're going by today. And I feel it's a bit of sketching coming along. Because again, it is Sunday and I gotta go to church. Hey, me to church. Oh, worship like a dog. Wrong choice of song. So here we are with, I think I'm going to do the color pencils today. This is a flat color pencil. And let's sketch a deer, everyone. Let's sketch a deer. Oops. Oops. So today's approach will be a bit slow, despite me being in a hurry. Try to get these uh, angles correct. Just looking at my reference and slowly building up the shape of the head of this deer. And I purposely took a deer that doesn't have horns today, as we don't need that kind of negativity this morning. Oh yeah, I changed, I think I mentioned it yesterday or the day before that, that I changed my drawing hours from late at night because my sleep schedule has like reset. So it's no longer late at night. It's very early in the morning. Not that early because again, I like myself. Though I do know that I have the capacity to like wake up at three to draw. I don't want to. Not anymore. I don't want to. So again, I am looking at the reference I'm using the lines i put before as a sort of guide for uh yeah for everything else things might change or they might stay the same but as always we will have a second layer with our refined sketch then probably we'll do something we'll try something artistic maybe very basic like making the eye glow or something for the most part i want this to be like a sketch sketch yeah and the other reason not the other reason. The reason I have my reference on the screen is I also want to get better at drawing things, not necessarily side by side. Because yeah, having the reference on screen, the same screen, like you can compare it, is nice. But someday I might want to like do some maybe urban sketching. Doubtful though, because again, I don't like things with angles but I might want to try and it will be way easier if I already know how to be accurate without having the reference like right there on my sketchbook so that's one reason the other reason is so that we have all this real estate that we can utilize for our animal instead of just drawing it on this half of the screen so here's the eye and i'm excited to let you know that i have unlocked a new discipline in regards to this art thing i don't want to tell you just yet but it's an exciting venture that i am trying and once i have like a grasp on it i'll let you guys know really it can change everything from being dramatic the church next door has already started service if my microphone wasn't set up the way it is you'd be able to hear hear them anyway have you guys been we've been good hope your day has gone well your morning is going well i am okay after this i want to watch my church service I'm going to stream it today and uh after that i want to watch 
the Spider-Verse movie, the second one, or both of them. I'll watch both of them because it's finally available online. And I can see all the stuff these people were flooding our timelines with the past two months. Everyone was drawing a spider character or a spider sona. Let me watch the movie. I am hopeful that it's a good movie. So yeah, that's it. And I don't do fan art. But I haven't started doing fan art. So you should not worry. I will not like make paintings or drawings of Miguel O'Hara. I haven't even watched the movie but I know who that is. Because everyone is drawing Miguel O'Hara. Just like the, the Barbie movie. I haven't watched it, but I'm already kind of sick of it because everywhere I turn, everyone's a Barbie girl, Barbie boy. So here's our antelope. Although I feel like my muzzle is too long. I'm going to move it just a bit inside and this. I haven't used the transform tools that much in Krita. So I know they do different things depending on what you select. Just keep it at this. And then refine just a bit. Maybe erase some of this. Erase some of this. And then let us mirror. Mm -hmm. Anyway, time for the second layer. Now we go to refinement. Now do we refine the lines or do we just uh, like do something like like what like this sort of painting with the color pencil let's find out i want to keep my strokes uh like this up and down for the most part i think that will help tremendously especially when it comes to sketchbook drawing because when you use pencil uh it's, it's it becomes really visible when you're off. Like if I do this and then I do this, it becomes uh, strange when you're using pencil. So I'm practicing also kind of like hatching in the same direction. So up and down, up and down. And for this curved uh, cheek, let's try that. I'm starting with a brownish color. For reference, once again, here's our antelope. Just so you have that fresh in your mind. I haven't downloaded it today. So it's still on Unsplash. It's the photo was taken by Hans Vet. Hans H A N S Vet V E T H. So if you want to, I will link the, the what? I'll put the link in the description. So if you guys want to do that thing, that thing means drawing along. You can check it out from there. And good news, uh, the dis Discord server is 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 happening. It's happening. So far, it's just there. I need to really really set it up so probably before i watch my spider-man movie or spider-man movies i might try and uh make a small logo for it it has the very imaginative name discord of art isn't that pun i debated calling it like my name but felt strange calling a server my name like either mark of art or like my real name mark wambugu but I like Discord of Art, like we're claiming all art is ours, but it's still a working title. So if you have a different name that you'd like to suggest before I like officially launch it, I am welcome to suggestions. Let's make the eye a bit dark and think of it again, always as a sphere. But we'll come back to that eventually. And then here, let's do something like this, the shadow underneath muzzle muzzle there's a shadow here as well and then i'll make this bigger and like tone everything hopefully the darker bits will get darker and the lighter bits will have a slight tone also taking care not to spend a time on one area more than the others and probably wait maybe not i wanted to smudge some things but i feel like we will ruin most of what we've already done if I do that, this bit should be darker. So all we're doing is layering uh, the pigment. Go a bit dark and layer some more towards the edge. Today my brush sort of remains the same size, mostly. And there's a patch of black on this guy's, this girl's uh, head. And also the tip of this ear. Going into something like so. So now I can deviate just a bit and refine the edges a bit. I can come here and erase most of this. 
Mm, some, some shadow bits in here. Again, the tip of the ear is dark. So is some of the edge. Then we just refine slightly, touching this part. Increase brush size. Add in some dark pigment. This part of the decrease brush size for like this shadowy bit shows us where the neck starts and as i mentioned before like at the beginning i want today's uh, drawing to be like pencil sketch so i don't want to use like multiply layers and overlay layers today i want it to be something that is possible with just a simple pencil and eraser it's defining this bit of mouth ends in something like that we have the edge of this which is in a shadow over here and then because the bottom edge is in shadow i'm going to thicken this line to have some line quality down here some of the things i continuously learn about as i continue this art journey and also the back of the ear should be a bit dark because there is a shadow back here crosses and this part of the antelope is also in shadow so we're going to thicken this line and then we're going to darken some of the fur behind here just a bit then let's decrease our brush a bit darker now define our eye eye and eye socket should be really dark so for this i'm shading in uh still thinking of it as a sphere so this one is not going up and down it's more like a sphere shading thing if you don't if you've done like a preliminary art class be like the very first thing you do shading spheres then the other dark bit of our antelope is the nose you don't see much of it but we will refine it just smidge i haven't said smidge in a while so just a smidge so again i'm just layering the pigment on top because there is a bit of darker fur on top of this guy's girls and i'm using a very light pressure my pen and now a bit of heavy pressure because this bit is dark i need more pigment up here a bit less over here still slightly more than we need what we have sorry we have that and then something more over here I'm doing something very dangerous because i just recalled I'm on one layer. So if something goes wrong, either have to control Z quite a lot or erase. Use the eraser. I hope nothing goes wrong. So now, instead of just going up and down, I'm looking at my reference and trying to shade in the direction of hair growth with these long strokes. Some are curved, so somewhere over here. Increase my brush size. Have something like that. Then our eraser is back to clean up some of these edges slightly it works like work and so it's more or less the same thing let me just decrease my uh, size oh just slightly higher oh something i i discovered on krita all about our discoveries so apparently krita has shortcuts for uh, decreasing and increasing like value so instead of me scaling on the color wheel there are some inbuilt shortcuts one i overrode because i like my lasso tool so on photoshop to get the lasso tool you just press l so i changed that shortcut to to um i don't know what it was before shift something to l but if you just downloaded Krita, L makes your values lighter and K makes them dark. So I changed my lighter values to J. So let me show you something. Let me show you something. So we started with black. So if I press J, it goes up a bit. You can see in the color wheel that it does go up. So you get a value range. And then if I press K, it goes down. So if your uh if you like to paint with value that could be something useful for you i don't know i think it's useful especially if that's how you start uh your paintings or drawing so now i'm in my blackest black going to sphericalize this eye a bit more then i'll go up and then with a small size add that light 
effect and then add i think this needs to be a bit wider at the bottom let me do that and then with a slightly light color add a bit of wetness to make sure i appears wet slightly and now i think we're towards the end of this sketch just want to darken the like really dark parts as well as define the silhouette more and show a bit of hair just slightly and i will tell you we've been painting or drawing for uh 36 minutes if i had chosen something with horns uh it, we'd be, be in trouble i mean not a lot of trouble but still some troubles bit of darkness inside the ear some tufts tufts sorry some tufts of far inside the ear and now i'll darken some of these go back to where my shadows really are really darken those and if we really want to make some things pop we can come in with our white or if you're doing this on paper the eraser and kind of do this maybe i'll use maybe i'll maybe let me do this this we do this on a different layer have some light fur on our animal i think we are finished probably let's just make some erasing make some erasing <laughs> let's erase some things let's put a cleaner silhouette silhouette and we are finished we are done that's our antelope yeah I don't the idea i had before i don't think i can implement it because because why i don't know it looks good like that i don't think i need to do something like mystical the only thing i can do maybe with the background command u or not we i can add a fill layer with a darker gray color and then on this i add a transparency mask with black and with uh use this and pop this out so that our antelope pops a bit from the background while using some of the background color just a oops oops and with white and clean up some of the silhouette clean up some of the silhouette and then now we are done now we are finished yay so that's it for our so that's it for our drawing today i hope you enjoyed it if you did kindly leave a like if you did not do that in the beginning of the video and uh if you did that at the beginning of the video kindly keep your like as is <laughs> yeah so what am i saying that's it for this video guys thank you for watching if you enjoyed it leave a like subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you tomorrow for day 13 uh let me know you're still collecting uh suggestions for the blank piece of paper so currently we have a beetle a spider an alien and an alien beetle so if you'd like to add your own creature into that mix and let me know in the comments and uh, we'll see what we can do if and when that day comes otherwise have a great day uh yeah two thumbs up bye bye